Since we launched our Big Ideas project in January, the STAR has received more than a thousand ideas from readers about how to make Toronto a better place. As we expected, we got a lot of serious ideas, like building a downtown relief line or making childcare more affordable. We also got a few, shall we say, more creative proposals. At first, these ideas seemed pretty crazy to us, but who are we to decide? We wanted to ask the experts. We caught up with TTC spokesman Brad Ross on a streetcar. He shot down proposals to put a casino on a subway and to transform a subway car into a social car where passengers could groove to the music and mingle on Friday nights. But there was one proposal that seemed to capture his interest. So, you know, there's all sorts of jokes around yodeling that you could do, but in fact, this is an idea that, that does actually work in some cities where there are cable cars, um, whether they're uh, suspended or, or travel uh, at, at the surface, um, that, that have been floated, that, that are actually serious ideas that cities actually do rely on on cable cars or, or vehiculars or whatever you want to call them to, to get around. So, um, would it work in Toronto? I suppose if you put a... If you put a roulette wheel in it, that might work. And have a Friday night mixer. Okay, I think you, maybe you need to combine all of these. He was less enthused about a proposal to offer transportation by blimp. What do you think? Mm. One word, Hindenburg. No, I don't think so, next. Okay. There were a few readers who proposed draining the harbor to make room for a new subway line and expressway. Brad had a few ideas about how to get rid of all that water. Buckets? What did you do? I think it's with the blimp. You know what? You take the blimp and you get and you put a giant pail and you lift it and you take it and then you dump it. But Andrew Hilton, spokesman for Waterfront Toronto, expressed a few serious concerns. It's a big highway. That's a highway that goes all the way from Etobicoke all the way to Scarborough, if I understand it. That's a gigantic environmental assessment. That's that's a very, very long process. That would require a tremendous amount of consultation. And then you'd have to consider who'd have to consult where you build it. So you'd have to consult the fish in the lake. You'd have to consult the birds, all the other flora and fauna and that sort of thing. And that, uh, that kind of consultation, that kind of link, that's pretty expensive. I wonder what the birds would think. They don't sound too happy about it. We also received lots of interesting political ideas. We met up with Councillor John Parker at City Hall to ask him about an idea to make Toronto a sovereign country would be far easier to do than this uh, writer is suggesting. Uh, all we have to do is privatize the whole city, and, and uh, there is a move afoot to do that already. Councillor Parker had a few ideas of his own about what the currency should look like. Whose face would be on the money? Oh, I would want yours on the high denomination notes. I would uh, think a very large denomination note should have the, uh, the image of the mayor. So Rob Ford would go on maybe the, the $1,000 bill, and I guess uh, we would have to put Doug Ford on the $20 bill, of course. He didn't like an idea to elect a lord and a lady of Toronto. But if we want to elect two mayors, Councillor Parker said he has a much better idea about how to divide the candidates. What I would do is I would divide the population between those who, uh, who are hopeful that the Maple Leafs will win the Stanley Cup this year and uh, those who are not living in a fantasy world. We also wanted to know if these experts had any creative ideas of their own. It turns out they do. If money were no object and I had an unlimited budget, you know, we're trying to, we're all about modernizing the... It's not standing in the way. I would like to see... I guess I could tell you this, uh, one of the things we're looking at uh, is teleportation. What I would do would be to expand the, uh, the uh, size of the press gallery. Toronto's largest bike path, the entire harbour. And getting people from A to B through teleportation becomes an enormous bicycle highway. I think there might probably be like a premium fare for something like that where you know you come to a station and then suddenly you're at the next station. And Literally the entire city would be able to bike in and out of the downtown on an enormous bike path that would be as wide as the harbour. Have you been in talks with this, the Starship Enterprise? You know, you're making fun of me now and I'm, I'm being quite serious. And I would give everyone in the press gallery a bonus and a raise. It's Battlestar Galactica. 
and I would increase the uh, the number of reporters from each of our uh, media partners, uh, and um, I would basically I, I would at least double each one. Well, that's one idea we can get behind. For the Star.com, I'm Rachel Mendelson.